Hey everybody, today we're going to do an update on our black American elderberry. We got these cuttings from Jewel Small Gardening. Uh, he got them for us pretty early this spring and I'm pretty sure it was a clone cutting from a mother plant. Uh, I'm almost positive it was. They were uh, really healthy specimens, around 10 inches tall, gorgeous looking little things. And I figured I'd do an update because I um, thought I wanted to show you guys how big it's grown in the past few months. We have it in a permaculture garden. It is not on drip tape. It's getting uh, hand fed and watered. So I'm going to spin you guys around and put you on a tripod and uh, I'll go stand beside of it. Okay guys, so here is our black American elderberry. Um, this thing has had a few, just a few attacks from uh, Japanese beetles. I will tell you, however, we have been treating this thing uh, pretty regular with um, 7, 500 complete. You guys can find the video on how we use that. I'll throw a link in your top right hand corner. But so far, we're really happy with this bush. Um, we couldn't ask for a better cut when we got it. These things took off a little slow. As soon as we hit them with that willow water, again, I'll throw the link to that video in the top right hand corner. Um, it just seemed to uh, take about a week to take effect on this thing and they just started blowing up. Now we got around six of these from Jules. Uh, two of them were down by the creek where a lot of people that do grow elderberry told us to put them at loamy, wet soil close to the riverbed of the creeks. That didn't work out so great for us. Um, we do have some down in our sunflower bed that's doing just as great as this one here is in our permaculture garden, but it is not on drip tape. Like I said before, we're hand fertilizing. Um, we're pretty much letting nature take care of it. We pretty much dropped some compost in the hole. We do have a video on how we planted these things. Uh, again, I will leave a link to that video in the top right hand corner. You guys can see how we planted this thing with willow water and compost. We have hit it with 20, 20, 20 twice. It's lifetime. Other than that, it's been pretty much uh, a regular regimen of water about every, uh, I don't know, twice a week. So anyway, this is our elderberry. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the phone, um, give you guys a close up of what it looks like. Um, this nice pretty pretty color. Again, this is just a short video and an update on this elderberry. Thank you, Jules. Um, we're gonna be doing jam next year. Uh, and we're also gonna be giving some of our Carolina gurus some uh, clone cuttings off of this thing. Right now, we're just gonna let it get established this year. Again, uh, I'll show you guys some close-ups, and uh, thank you for watching. Okay, guys, so that's it for the video. Just wanted to give you guys an update on how big that thing is. Um, it's growing really nice. So thank you, Jules, and uh, thank everybody for watching, and we'll give you an update when the berries come in.